Tonight, only on 16 Minutes, I have an exclusive interview with the godfather of office football pools. Long before fantasy football was even a concept 50 years ago, to be exact, he created the NFLWP, National Football League Weekly Pool. Who is he? He is a recluse, rumored to be in the Witness Protection Program, and he has more aliases than an escaped felon, but to his friends, family, and colleagues, he is simply known as Kamish. I'm Steve Croft. I'm Leslie Stahl. I'm Bob Simon. I'm Morley Safer. And I'm Mikey Backdraft. That story, and only that story tonight, here on 16 Minutes. Good evening, Mr. Kamish. Let me just say on behalf of 16 Minutes, it's an honor to be in your compound conducting this interview. Thank you, Mikey. The first question I have, Kamish, is what inspired you to create the NFLWP? Well, Mikey, we come from a very competitive family. My brothers and I were always competing in football. We enjoyed football, so this seemed a natural to pair the two competitive nature of our family and football together. So I, once Sunday afternoon when we were all together, I passed out the odds club from the Reno Turf Club and we put in two bucks each and bet on the outcome of the games. And that's how the NFLWP was born. Very good. And this family you speak of, uh, can you confirm that is the legendary Gambino Linguisa family? No, I can't. That would put them at risk. Very good. I understand. Uh, would it be safe to say that there can only be one godfather running an NFLWP league like this? That would be safe for you to say, but not for me. Okay. I'm beginning to get the message here. You have a laundry list of aliases, Mr. Commissioner. T. Harold, The Truth, Spider, Revere, Linguisa. Uh, just how long have you been in the Witness Protection Program? Mikey, I'm not here to answer stupid questions. If this is about the NFL WP, it's over. Very good. Message received loud and clear. I apologize, Mr. Commissioner. Uh, let's move forward. What makes the NFL WP so attractive and different? Well, what makes the NFL WP different from all other leagues is that there's an individual concept where the individual is rewarded for good performance and Picking football, and there's also a team concept where the team is rewarded for their outstanding picks, and we have a three three man team concept. I got it. So both individual and team effort can be applauded. Outstanding. Uh, <clears throat> let's talk about the teams in the NFL WP right now. How many players are there, and how many teams are there? Well, the NFL WP started with only six players. Six. But we've grown to 96 players and 32 teams. It's at a maximum that we can accommodate right now. Uh, there's a waiting list of some 4,000 players. 4,000? Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. impressive, Mr. Commissioner. Commissioner, what is your favorite team? Well, obviously, my favorite team is Spider Rivera and the Raiders, Mikey. And you are the head coach of that team. Correct? I have been since its inception. Since its inception. Our records, Commissioner, indicate that you and your family members have won more titles and more prize money than all the other teams combined throughout the history of the NFL WP. Do you care to explain that? Well, first of all, that's pure bullshit. Ms. Fonda Cox, our league secretary, keeps detailed records on the winnings, and we have not won the most in the league. Fair enough. Thank you for answering the question. Um, <clears throat> our records also show that during the 80s, there was once a Coca-Cola Cowboys team. I'd like to ask you, was there a Pepsi-Cola Panthers team or a Dr. Pepper Patriots team during the 80s? No. So would it be fair to say then that the league wasn't sponsored by the soft drink industry during the 1980s? Mikey, there's nothing soft about the NFL WP. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Commissioner. What league member, either past or present, has had the most positive influence upon you, 
and the NFLWP. Well, that would be my brother Dime's story. Years ago, I created the CLIT program, the Commissioner's Leader in Training. And I've carefully groomed Dime Store to take over the helm for several years. And once he did, the league expanded beautifully. Fair enough. Uh, there is a Moss Cup, if I'm not mistaken, which is the title given to the best team, and uh, a president, Joe Moss. Can you explain who is Joe Moss and what is the Moss Cup? Well, Joe Moss was a fictitious character we invented to take the blame for when things went wrong, Mikey, because, and you know, as in corporate America, things go wrong often, and you need a scapegoat. Joe Moss was our guy. Indeed. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so is he a real person, or is he fictitious? He is fictitious. Okay. So this Moss Cup, is it real or fictitious? The Moss Cup is real, and then with it comes a cash prize. To not the... fictitious money. Well, sometimes, but not usually. <laughs> <laughs> Have you lost friendships over the years because of your godfatherly approach to running this league? Oh, hell yeah, Mikey. And do those friendships matter now? Not a bit. Is there a motto this league has? We have a motto. It's fuck you if you can't take a joke. <laughs> it's a multiple choice question. I want to change gears here a little bit. Toyota Corolla is A, a savant, B, an idiot savant, or C, an idiot. <laughs> How have you managed to keep this league running for 50 years? Well, I'll tell you, Mikey, family members have been crucial. And then, of course, there's the payoffs and bribes. Payoffs and bribes. Um, <clears throat> okay, that sounds like a pretty lucrative business. Commissioner, can you briefly talk about the league's expansion years, the power struggle which nearly dissolved the league, and the immense success that uh, modernizing the league had? Well, Mikey, the job of commissioner was becoming a 24-7 ordeal. I had to be available for all the picks all the time and we disagreed dime store and i on how the league was to move forward he wanted more transparency i didn't it sounded like you worked very very hard at ensuring the success of the nflwp but mr <laughs> commissioner your business model has come under scrutiny periodically uh, for example there were years where there were extravagant banquets at the finest hotel casinos in Nevada, extended vacations to Mazatlan, Mexico. Just how did the league afford all of these events? We overcharged the members. <laughs> okay. And when they caught on? We TFR'd them. TFR. We targeted for removal. We kicked them out. Ah, targeted for removal. It went hand in hand with our motto, fuck you if you can't take a joke. Kamish, how many players were actually TFR during those tumultuous years? Well, so goddamn many that we ended up here at the Elks Lodge. What advice would you give to someone considering starting up their own similar league? Very simple, Mikey. Don't do it. Look at me. It's taken a personal toll on my health. <laughs> and it violates would violate my trademark rights to this league. That could have dire consequences, it sounds like someone of your stature. Mr. Commissioner, do you have any closing thoughts on the future of the NFLWP after 50 years of running it? Well, Mikey, 50 years is a long time for the league. I never dreamed it would go this long, but thanks to family members, Dime Store, his son, Brandon, and any other future burner prodigy that may come along, it could go indefinitely. Well, thank you, Kamish. It's been a pleasure interviewing you here at the Fortified Compound here on Washington Street in Ralston Hills, Reno 89503. You just gave away my secret witness, Mikey. <laughs> there you have it. It's confirmed. He is in the witness protection program. It's been a roller coaster ride of hardships and fun for the commissioner of the NFLWP for the past 50 years. Lifelong relationships were formed, and intense scrutiny 
over his business model and the way that he commissioned his league. But with a waiting list of over 14 people, there can be no doubt that the NFLWP has risen to the highest level of office football pools. More importantly, the legacy that it leaves behind, lifelong, timeless friendships, and a history of bringing people together. 